Worship the Lord your God. And they will take away diseases. God builds a hedge around your life with your God. Jesus is able to purify. Happy new month. Happy new month. It's a new month. Yes. Okay, happy new month to you. Happy Easter. Happy, Easter. happy new quarter. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Namshukuru Mungu sana kwa sababu yeye ni mwaminifu. No matter what has been going on, no matter what is going on, no matter even what is happening, God still remains to be faithful. Hallelujah. And that is the hope that I hold on to every day. Kwamba Mungu ni mwaminifu. Hata kama kuna giza, he still remains to be the light and he is faithful. Hallelujah. You can have your seat. Namshukuru Mungu and uh, and I thank God that at least we, we we have had the privilege of of celebrating together in fellowship this weekend this service unajua kuna wenzetu ambao wangetaka to have this kind of fellowship but because of the situation in the world they are not able but we thank god for everything hallelujah because everything works for the good of all those who trust in the lord na hata kama hawajaweza kukutana for fellowship uh, god is not uh, god is not locked down <laughs> god is not locked down god is not social distanced <laughs> eh mungu hajafungiwa si ndio anatembea and he can still get to touch you no matter the situation ajawekwa ile ya 1.5 meters away eh? he still closer to us closer than ever in fact wakati ambapo inakufikisha mahali there is no other person that is near god is the only person that is near is even much more nearer than those people that you are trusting him for hallelujah unajua wakati unapitia kipindi ambacho hauoni mtu ama hauwezi fikia mtu wakati wao ndio unajua kwamba mungu yuko karibu na we zaidi ya wakati wa wote that time when it is very dark is when you realize that eh hey, I have come through there must have been somebody who is not physical hallelujah and as we celebrate this uh, season of easter it's a season to celebrate the death and the resurrection of jesus and uh, the significance in our life nilikuwa nauliza mungu sasa now we are celebrating the death and resurrection of jesus a remembrance what does it mean to us as believers today praise god and i want us to read isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 this verse is always read during christmas isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 it says 6 and 7 it says for a child is born to us a son is given to us the government will rest on his shoulders and he will be called wonderful counselor mighty god everlasting father prince of peace his government and its peace will never end. He will rule with fairness and justice from the throne of his ancestor David for all eternity. The passionate commitment of the Lord of Heaven's armies will make this happen. Hallelujah. This was the description of the anticipation of receiving Christ. A son is born and he will be known as a wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father, prince of peace. Praise the Lord. And when Jesus came that is what he brought with him to the world because as the history was before there were a lot of issues in the Israelites kingdom which we attach ourselves to then let us read um, the same Isaiah chapter 11 verse 2 Isaiah talks of Jesus much more than any other any other any other book Isaiah chapter 11 let's start from verse 1 it says, out of the stump of David's family will grow a shoot. Yes, a branch bearing fruit from the old, old root. 
And the spirit of the Lord will rest on him. The spirit of wisdom and understanding. Mark that. The spirit of the spirit and the spirit of the Lord will rest on him. The spirit of wisdom and understanding. The spirit of counsel and might. The spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. He will delight in obeying the Lord. He will not judge by appearance, nor make a decision based on hearsay. He will give justice to the poor and make fair decisions for the exploited. The earth will shake at the force of his word, and one breath from his mouth will destroy the wicked. He will wear righteousness like a belt and truth like an undergarment. Hallelujah. And that Isaiah chapter 61 verse 1 to, uh, uh, that Isaiah chapter what? Chapter 11, sorry, chapter 11 verse 2. Jesus also used it to describe himself. He, he gave reference to the same, same scripture. Praise God. And finally, let us read Isaiah 61 verse 1 to 3. The spirit of the sovereign Lord is upon me. For the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to comfort the brokenhearted and to proclaim that captives will be released and the prisoners will be freed. Verse 2, he has sent me to tell those who mourn that the time of the Lord's favor has come and with it the day of God's anger against the enemies. And verse 3, to all who mourn in Israel, he will give a, gr a crown of beauty for ashes, a joyous blessing instead of mourning. Festive praise instead of despair. In their righteousness, they will be like ox that the Lord has planted for his own glory. Hallelujah. And as you read the whole of 60, chapter 61 until the end, the Lord, the, 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 the Lord gives what he wants to do for his children. Praise the Lord. And in reference to that, Jesus came that we may have life and life, life abundantly. Hallelujah. And he lived. Na akafa, akafufuka. Bade akufufuka, we received victory. And the significance of the death and resurrection of Christ is this. Yes, he, he is called Emmanuel, God with us. Even if it will say that God had power to do miracles. Hainge onekana kwamba inafanyika. Kwa sababu, ingekuwa kwamba mahali yesu yuko tu. Ndiyo mahali miujiza inafanya nini? Inafanyika. Even as, as we read the Bible, uh, the, the story of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John that was talking about Jesus Christ. Ilikuwa inaonekana tu kwamba mahali yesu alikuwa, ndiyo miujiza ilikuwa inafanya nini? Ilikuwa inafanyika. Where his disciples were, is where it was noted that miracles, signs, and wonders happened. So the death and resurrection of Christ, he was to... His death and resurrection was to give us power, was to give us that same power that he had, so that wherever we were, who represented Christ, miracles happened. Hallelujah. Mahali ambapo tulikuwa, the same spirit that dwelt in Jesus, because we are like Jesus, he is our example, he is our role model. Whatever Jesus will be able to do, we will be able to do where we were. Buwana sifiwe. Muna nielewa? Tunaelewana. Kama hange kufa, because after he left, he had to live for the Holy Spirit to come. And when the Holy Spirit came, the Holy Spirit is not confined by location. Kama vile yesu alikuwa, mahali yako ndiyo yuko. Akiamkia hapa kisi, hapa kisi, ndi atafaya nini? Ndi atakuwa mpake yoma. Sao akiwa hapa kisi, taonekana tu miujiza inafaya nini? Inafanyika kisi. And it will not manifest that God was really powerful. God was really a God who could not be bound with time, with, to bound with distance. So he had to live. Ili roho mtakatifu aji. Roho mtakatifu, yeye yeah, akiamu, saizi vile tumeamuka, tukua hapa kisi. Wenye wameamuka wako nyamira, he's there. Those who are awake in Nakuru, he's there. Those who are awake in... Those, you know, everywhere that anyone is connecting with God, the Holy Spirit is there. As healing is taking place in Kisi, when someone else is claiming healing in the U.S., it is happening. Amen. It is not confined kwamba, what a healing imalize kazi Kisi, alafu itakuja, ndio yende Nyamira County, ndio itoke yende Kisumu County. No. So his death to us as believers 
is, a, is an opportunity for us to receive the same power that he had, that we will manifest the same things that he will manifest. Hallelujah. And that is why he said, if we believe in him, we will do much more than what he did. We will do what he has done, and even much more than what he did. Hallelujah. Yeye mwenye ndi alikuwa nasema, kwa sababu gani? The, the Holy Spirit who is the who knows the mind of god is able to transfer the same things into our hearts and we will claim the same things in our lives bwana asifiwe kwa hivyo wakati tunasema easter hii this easter let's not just focus on the death most of us focus kwamba amekufa aliteseka akapigwa yes it is painful but now unfortunately he just had to be beaten Unfortunately in this journey Jesus just, he just had to be beaten he just had to die but the the resurrection is the main thing Bwana asifiwe The resurrection is the what is the main thing it, it is the main thing Na hii resurrection unajua haingekuja kama angepita kuchapwa If if Jesus had refused or God has had now reached a point akaonea mtoto wake huruma akaamua ah, mtoto wangu aende kuchapwa aende kusulubiwa the resurrection part will not have been there because definitely he will not have died si ndio kama Yesu angechapwa si ni kweli angekufa <laughs> tuko pamoja i'm just thinking this way if Christ was not beaten up and crucified if Judas had not betrayed him and is beaten and is crucified angekufa Angekufa kweli? Angekufa. So we will not even be having the resurrection. But according to God's plan, he had to go through that beating, he had to go through that torture so that he will be healed and healed fully. So that shetani asiseme ati mlilipa mlilipiwa kidogo kidogo ikabaki. Unaona wakati umelipiwa mahari, umelipiwa mahari kidogo mahari ngine ikabaki. Unajua fully fully you are not you are, you are not married there fully 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 because you are supposed to be paid for fully si ndio ukinunua kitu haya purchase umelipa kidogo na hujamaliza kulipa does that thing belong to you even if you are using it it does not belong to you hata wale mnanua magari mnanua mashamba unalipa nusu nusu inabaki for as long as you have not paid the remaining part hata kama umejenga hiyo shamba bado si yako mwenyewe anaweza chukua anaweza sema acha nichukue shamba yangu ni hiyo pesa ulinipatia ndio hii achukue shamba yake achukue gari yake so if christ did not die th- through that process our salvation will not have been fully paid for our deliverance will not have been fully paid for our healing will not have been perfect ingekuwa tume nusu nusu kitu nusu nusu so don't really ile siku zile siku tulikuwa tunalia if you look at those uh, like this is on the movies that are being aired say si ndio ni za crucifixion of jesus i remember when we were kids we used to cry and we we never used to understand mbona hao watu wanaua yesu akina yesu hata hajafa hata hakutenda dhambi surely and we used to cry and we used to cry we were children back then and 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 i realize even as believers we are still thinking as the way we were children back then when i was six, seven, at the age of my children We used to cry so much. Yes, yes. And we will see the videos year in year out, year in year out, but we will still cry. And we will still ask the same questions. But as believers, atufai kuwa pale ati we are now crying that Jesus was killed. Kwamba amechapa. Akiona vile wanamchapa. I hear Miss Jay on a passion, the passion, you know the passion of Christ. Have you seen that one? That movie. Nani ameona? Have you seen it? I'm down on the passion of Christ. I have personally I have not seen it, but I have seen clips kidogo kidogo. It is the most graphic. Yani kwa hiyo hiyo this Easter story of death and resurrection of Christ. That one is the one that really yani it is the real movie. Horror. Yani it's like a horror. Yeah, it's very it is very intense. Very very intense. Yenye ukiangalia you will kama hujaokoka lazima utaokoka i hear it is very intense i've not seen it but you can you can have a look at it so we will not just cry so you you are crying every day kwamba yesu akakufa yesu akakufa it was meant for him to die 
you should celebrate that he, he did not die and die for good. He died and he rose again and is alive. Hallelujah. Na kwa kufufuka kwake sisi tumepata nguvu, tumepata mamlaka, tumesamehewa, tumekombolewa, tumeponywa, tumetajirika, tumebadi you know we have been blessed because of that resurrection. Hallelujah. Kwa hivyo let not the death and resurrection of Christ be, be in vain. Tunaelewana. That what, whatever has been described in Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6, whatever has been described in Isaiah chapter 11, that the spirit of God is upon us. When the spirit of God is upon us, we have the spirit of knowledge and wisdom. We have the spirit of counsel and might. You know, we have, that spirit brings that in us. Bwana asifiwe. So kifo cha Yesu na kufufuka kwake kumetupatia roho wa Mungu. Na huyu roho wa Mungu ndiye anatuwezesha. Hii hekima tunaongea huyu roho wa Mungu ukiwa naye utakuwa nayo. That knowledge that we are speaking about if you have the spirit of God you will have that knowledge. You will be able to have you know believers are supposed to stand out. We are supposed to be the solution. We are the solution actually. But we have not become the solution. Mnajua hivyo. Believers are the solution. But we have not we have decided not to be the solution. Bona sifewe. Bona sifewe. Mahali mahali mkristo yuko. Kuna faa kuwa na muangaza. You, you are not even supposed to stay in a village. Alafu tunasikia ripoti kwamba watu wanaiba huko kila wakati kila wakati then you are not a believer Bwana asifiwe reflection time today morning we are reflecting this month the lord has said it's a month that he wants to manifest himself he wants to turn his his promises into flesh in our lives but these promises cannot be cannot be turned if we will not agree if we will not realize that he has given us the power he has given us the ability he has given us everything to manifest him in the world bwana asifiwe mnasikia kitu ninasema mchawi mmoja anaweza ishi kwa community na within one year amalize watu 15 mchawi mmoja singo singo mchawi ameoleka kwanza hata si hata ati amezaliwa ameoleka Kwa hiyo community yenu, a community of more than 10,000 people, one kamcha we can get married and turn that village upside down. Alafu kwa hiyo community, kuna wa kristo zaidi elfumo, awezi yata letter one person to Christ. Does it make sense? Does it make sense? As in, does it make sense? And that is the reflection God wants us to have this season. Kumba amekufa. He died and he, he, he died to defeat everything that can stand on the way. Kifo cha Yesu kilikuwa ni kuondoa kila kitu. Kila kitu ambacho kimesimama between us and who we are supposed to be. And his, his resurrection was to give birth to us a new, powerful, spirit-filled knowledgeable, full of wisdom, full of power, full of might. Na tuna, ali, anatarajia kuamba, that new beginning that he's given us, that new creation that he has created, ndiyo tutatembea, tukiwa hivo, tukiwa na nguvu, tukiwa na mamlaka. Unfortunately, as believers, we are not being who we are supposed to be. Nemekua ni kiangalia tu vile tunaishi. And actually, I've been wondering, Nyi tumezaliwa hapa kisi. Nyinyi wote. Si mume, wengi, 95% of you mmezaliwa hapa kisi. Si ndio? Mahali mumetoka. Kuna mchawi hata mmoja. Eh? Wako wengi? Okay, wako wengi. Hapo <laughs> mahali kuna wachawi wengi. Wakristo ni wangapi? Kati ya wakristo na wachawi, wangapi wako wengi? Wangapi wako wengi? Tukiambiana ukweli. Wakristo ni wengi kuliko? Lakini nani anatawala? 
hata wakati tulikuwa tunaimba vitu tunafanya tunamsulubisha Yesu tena na tena si unaona hata nyinyi tumesulubisha Yesu tena na tena because believe those who claim to be believers are many than the witches but these few are ruling kwa sababu sisi kama we, we, we are not even we do i don't know i don't know if we do not know or we do not want or we are afraid to take our power and stand firm and if we stood firm i am telling you the truth there is no way any witch will speak in your village hakuna sasa so, so unfortunately ah witches wanawashtua mpaka sasa wa kristo wanaacha ukristo wanakuwa wacha wachawi alafu wanakuwa agents so you are a christian mchawi you are the one who's 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 being used by the wachawi to kill your fellow brothers and sisters praise god So today God wants us to to take up our position. Ametupatia nguvu. That is that is the kind of impact God wants that you get angry in the situation that is there. That those people who are being exploited by the enemy, you stand up for them. That the hiyo kitu imekuwa ikifanya watu wanalia wanalia. Wewe sasa unajua. You have the knowledge. God has given you the power. You have God stand up for those people stand up for yourself stand up for your family stand up for your neighbors stand up for those children and see the life change in that place hallelujah and that is the reflection for today that the resurrection of christ has given us power kama yesu amesema believers we are the light of the world look around mahali uko are you shining the light watu wanasema kwamba tangu kuje we have tangu ingie kwa hii plot kumekuwa kumetulia tangu uingie hii plot you know hakuna magombano tangu uingie hii plot any there's something different about you are people seeing that or people are seeing unafaa kutoka kwa sababu hawaoni tofauti yako na mtu hajakoka praise god that is the meaning of this resurrection hallelujah na anataka kuanzia leo tutembee tukijua kwamba hiyo nguvu mamlaka uweza ametupatia and the good thing about god where he has placed you the way he told joshua i will strengthen you mahali amekuweka mungu atakupatia nguvu hata kama inaonekana hautaweza god will strengthen you and where he has put you if you obey him he will give you great success and not just great success he will always be with you Hallelujah. And because we do not do these things on our own, he's the one who does them. Glory belongs to God. And that glory, kitu inafanya anasema that glory must belong to him. It's because it is not you who is doing. It is him who is doing through you. Wewe unakulia tu ile sifa ya ya mdosi. Because it is him who is doing. You cannot forgive. It is God who will for, who will forgive through you. You cannot love on your own. It is God who will love through you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Ile kupigana tulikuwa tunapigana. On your own you cannot stop. It is only God who can do that through you. Hata hao wachawi, kwani wewe unaweza kuwa wachawi? Si mungakuwa mshawa huwa wote. It is God who's killing them through you. It is God who's enabling you to stand against them. And that is the power that he wants us to move. With. This year it is a year of distinction. And that distinction must be seen because he has given us the power he has given us everything that we need every weapon and above all the most important thing ni kwamba you konasi kila wakati hallelujah so if we stop thinking about yourself kwamba ninaweza simama ni, ni wawe ninaweza katani a uh-uh. a una wawe kwa nini sio wewe unasimama kama utasimama you will be killed If you fight against the witches, if you fight against the witches, you will be killed. But if you let God fight against the witches, they cannot kill God. They cannot kill God. Because at that time, you cease to exist. It is God who is speaking. Bwana asifiwe. Na huyo Mungu hawezi wawa. Na ushindi lazima utaonekana. So as as this month the Lord has said that he wants to manifest his promises. As this month he ametuahidi mambo maku. Na sisi sehemu yetu ni kuhakikisha by the knowledge that we have received 
we will be present for him to use us. Hallelujah. Kwamba tusidharau nguvu hizo ambazo ametupa. I was I was reading through um there's a I was just going through one this social media accounts pages and there is this ministry that is wanafanya yani their service is just wanaomba tu and i was i was asking like how 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 is this thing nilikuwa nauliza mungu sasa unajua kuna places zingine kuna kwa na miujiza mpaka unashanga unajua kuna kwa na miujiza mpaka unajiuliza kweli ya ukweli kabisa ukweli ukweli kabisa unaona ni kama vile kama una <laughs> okay let me let me leave that example anyway so nilikuwa nauliza alafu Mungu akani akaniuliza why do you imagine that whatever they are saying is not true nikamwambia yani the yani the frequency in which those testimonies are coming uh, sa zingine inanikalia eh? nina nina suspect because unajua hata i was analyzing based on our own perspective. Unko amza sasa Mungu. Unaona mtu hapo hivyo amesema it is the first time they have connected to that ministry. They were HIV positive and the the following day yani unaona mtu anatoka hospitali na results because they wanted to kill themselves. Mtu akamwambia and uh, go and try. Unaweza pona. So amekuja kama sasa leo ni Saturday. Mtu alipimwa jana amekuja leo na by jioni ama by kesho anarudi pa, anakuja na different result and i'm asking as in, see, it is too fast eh? yeah. it is too fast eh? <laughs> the miracle is too fast that was my thinking but god was saying okay what mimi nilisema nitaponya mtu baada ya siku ngapi so alikuwa ananiuliza where how long have i written that i, I can take to heal that disease nikapata hata hapo kwa biblia hawajawahi sema hiv unajua nilipata hata kwa bible they have, have they mentioned hiv no they have not mentioned hiv si ndio so nikapata sina reference of scripture that uh, hiv umeandika five days uh, malaria maybe two days hakuna and it told me for as long as you believe it is possible and it happens so and sasa nilikuwa namuuliza now please help me understand help me understand and some you know the problem that my children have umepoa kila kitu nimewapatia kila kitu so sasa hizi tunakula wewe uko na mchele na nyama huyu ako na mchele na nyama huyu ako na mchele na nyama lakini unaangalia hii mchele yako na nyama na unaangalia una imagine ya mwingine si kama yuko nayo so you are not enjoying your meal because you're imagining the other person's meal could be better than yours and it is the same thing has been served from the same pot nilitumia mchele na nyama as an example saini asubuhi sana wengine wao hamjakunywa breakfast but but i think you're getting the concept eh? the food has been served from the same pot and everyone has been given the same thing in terms of power in terms of ability in terms of gifts akaniuliza hapo mahali muko because those people are not in kenya akaniuliza hapo mahali muko umewaisikia watu wakipewa nikamwambia eh hata hapo mahali umetuweka sisi wenyewe umetutumia kuponya watu okay When people are living crutches watu wenu wana wakiacha crutches wanatembea aje nikamwambia wanatembea kwa miguu mbili hapo umeona ah watu wameacha crutches umeona wakitembea aje nikamwambia niliona wameshukisha na wakatembea kwa miguu mbili na wakaanza ku dance okay mume wao yaambia kipofu nikamwambia ndio alipona ye, akafanya aje akaangalia na hapo nimeona pia amepona amefungua macho ameangalia even if this HIV you are asking me Haven't you prayed for people they have been nikamwambia ndio hata hivi karibuni tulipata testimony za hatujawahi sikia mtu za zile wanakuja anakwambia pastor unajua hata kani kwa hapa nilikuwa mgonjwa unajua nilipona hata kama sijawahi testify kwa sababu eh, ya kuto disclose results zao zilikuja nikamwambia zilitoka positive zikaenda negative what have you seen there nikamwambia the report came positive and the report has come back negative can, so what is your problem and i reflected ab- about my journey and i reflected about our journey god has given aliniuliza vitu vingi akaniuliza eh do people as my spirit visited your church nikamwambia yes 
how has he behaved nikaambia oh nimeona watu wakiongea kwa ndimi eh nimesikia watu waki prophesy did you see that there yes what is the difference nikaambia tu ni ile style wanaongea ndimi ni tofauti akaniuliza hapo mahali mnaongea ndimi mnaongea the same tongues nikamwambia hapana so where is your problem because i have given all my gifts i have given my holy spirit i have given my power from the same source what you have is what your neighbor has is what the other person has but you have stopped focusing on what i've given you you have stopped enjoying what i've given you na unataka unaangalia ya mwingine and you imagine chakula yake ni mzuri kuliko yako unasikia unafaa kuanza yake hii yako haifai and that is where our problem is so god has given us power but we are imagining that this there somewhere else there could be more power than what we have there's somewhere else that could be better than where god has put us there is no other place that is better than where god has put you at the moment he has put you there if he wants you to to take you to another place he will take you to another place at that time isaia amekuweka hapa praise god and take advantage use what he has given you and shine where he has put you hallelujah bwana asifiwe wacha kuangalia ya jirani wacha kuangalia iko namna gani that that he has put in you is what you're supposed to have and is what you're supposed to use hallelujah i want to hear those testimonies kwamba my neighborhood has changed my family has don't fight them you do your part if it is praying pray for them if it is acts of kindness be kind to them if it is hospitality kuwasaidia kwa wabariki usiwaite kuwahubiria kama wewe si mchungaji wacha waende kanisani wahubiriwe wewe waombe and you will see the light shining hallelujah let us rise up and our prayer is that god will give us the ability to realize what he has put in us and use it for his glory hallelujah kama mungu atuwezeshe kujua kile ambacho ametupa na kukitumia kwa sifa na utukufu wa jina lake hallelujah let us raise our voices in prayer Father we thank you <coughs> Father we thank you this morning thank you for the resurrection of Jesus thank you for the power that has come with his resurrection thank you for the victory and thank you for everything that you have given us i bless your name for your sons and daughters my father that our light will shine Maye kasinta ribo ko seketari bakashanta masaribo ko seketere boko santa raba mekere boko shekeri katara boko sinta maya bakanta ribo ko sekere ba riketere boko shanta riba kasiki i bless your name my father for the revelation that you have given us and i thank you mighty god because it is you who enabled us thank you my father because you have given us your gifts that are perfect thank you because your holy spirit fills us rebo ko shanta raba kasanta raba mariketi rebo ko sheketa saka ribo ko santa riba kasike me kariba kashanta ribo ko sika makari kata ribo ko sekete rebo rikara boko ya tari boko sika mari boko entaraba kasikaraba i lift up my father i bless you king of glory you are worthy of our exaltation receive all the glory o nona me baka ya taraba kasakata me kari boko seke ri boko sheka ya kari katiri boko santa ri boko siki me kari waka shaka ri boko ya taraba i bless you i exalt you i honor you you are worthy me baka ya taraba Thank you my father for this revelation. Thank you for your new power. I bless you. I exalt you. We bless your name mighty father in Jesus mighty name. Father I thank you because you are faithful. Thank you because You never change you never lie and what you have given us you have blessed us abundantly I bless your name for your revelation this morning and the seed that you have planted in our lives my father I pray that each one of your children that has received it will grow 
and it will produce fruit, my father. That the difference will be seen. The distinction that you have seen, my father, will be seen in our lives every single day, my king of glory. Not just in the aspect of blessing, not just in protection, my father, but in our character and in the impact that will have in other people's lives. I bless your name because you are faithful. Thank you, my father, for every gift that you've given each one of us. Thank you for every ability that you've given each one of us, my father. And I thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you for your presence in our life. Thank you because you guide us. Thank you because you show us the direction and the way. And I pray, my God, that from this hour, from this moment, my Father, the lives of your children will take a new dimension in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That it will not be business as usual, my Father. You have said that you are put us to be the light and we are the salt of the earth my father and I pray that from this hour the light will take charge from now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and it will bring flavor in the lives of your children will bring healing will bring deliverance and salvation my father in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that in every community in every place you have planted us my God it will be known that we serve a living God because our lives will be different. Our stories will be different from this hour, my Father. I pray that your Holy Spirit will guide us and that your word will be made flesh in our lives every single day. Thank you for the victory of resurrection, my Father. Thank you for the power that resurrection has given us. And thank you for the new knowledge and that the veil has been removed from us. I bless your name and I honor you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen, amen and amen.